shall we get started? Let's uh let's first we got our navigator, everything's good there. Let's um let's create some structure. So I do not see I'm going to create a new folder called SRC. I'm sure you've seen that a few times. I'm gonna create a new folder in here called screens. Oh, we'll call it pages. And then inside of here, we'll call this main page.tsx. Uh, we'll import React from React. Import view text style sheet from React native. Const main page We'll export the default main page Const Styles equals style sheet dot create No, we don't want a promise there. We want a container the flex of one, justify content, center, align, items, center, and we will return view with the style equals styles dot container and some text. main page all right let's bring that into our app main page IntelliSense brings it right in there so here we're gonna say home and this will be main page let's go ahead and get our app fired up real quick npm run And then we can start to actually make something happen. Here's our main page. Okay, let's go pretty it up. Let's add a little text right here in our main page. We will say text. Font size 22. Font weight bold. And style equals styles dot text. Voila. Perfect. Alright, let's go into our SRC, make a new folder and call it components. And we're gonna make a new folder in here and we're gonna call it line chart. And then inside of line chart. We'll create a new file called index.tsx. We're going to kind of play around between um, TypeScript and JavaScript. Because <laughs> I don't know that right off the bat it'd be the best decision to make um, all this TypeScript. So to keep things a little simpler, we will start with some JavaScript. So our page one is blah, blah, blah. Not going to worry too much about that. Excuse me. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, what I will do is in pages, make a new file and call it line chart, not TSX, and we will import React. Let me see, I think I have a code snippet for this. React functional component, React native. I like that better. What I'm going to do is move this up here. And. Oh no, I don't like any of this. So we're going to say const. Oh. Just take this out. We'll come up with a better way. Const. 
line charts equals and let's make this plural there we go and we will say here export default line charts and then const styles equals style sheet would import it no we'll just import this manually and here we'll do our container again and we will return view with style container and some text put that in there and we'll import this into our app.tsx import line charts from and actually I can probably yep and we'll say Roar dot screen line charts components let's go see if we can hit that guy line charts sweet all right so let's get rid of this page one so he will stop complaining He's now yellow, beautifulness. Let me close all these tabs. And in this index over here, we are going to import React from React. We're gonna import view from React native. We're gonna import SVG. Um, we're gonna say circle line from react native SVG say so const line charts export default line chart and we're not gonna use any styles in these because everything is gonna come from props so the first thing we're gonna do is just return a view and then an SVG element and inside of our SVG we're going to say height equals 100% width equals 100% and we'll say style equals SVG container and then in our view, we're going to say style equals, uh, we'll say main container. Why not? And then up here, we'll say const main container equals, we'll say const SVG container equals. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say for our props, and we can go ahead and make this a react dot functional components we could come over here we're making all this tsx aren't we uh, we'll go with it for now we'll go with it for now uh, let's go back to javascript take out this part right here okay so for our props we are also going to bring in dimensions and we'll say const 
width and we'll rename this to screen width equals dimensions dot get window and inside of our props we're going to say height we're going to rename that to container height we'll say that's going to default to 300 and the width container width equals um, screen width minus, we'll just say 50. <coughs> and here, let's say height, container height, width, container width, And then we'll give a background color red just to make sure everything's working. And then what we need to do is go to our line charts and we're going to import line chart. And then here we will just say line chart. And we'll let the defaults just kind of do their thing for now. Oh, let me put the background color up here. Oh no, that's main container. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I put a dollar sign in there somewhere. Ho, ho. Right about there, right? Make that a percent. And my height is 300, my width. Let me put this to be background color. Oh, and you can see how our app is not really being friendly to us. So we'll go back to our Metro Bundler and just reload it. And we'll go over here to Line Charts. And there we go. So our SVG will make it Trans. Parent. Now we get the red from our background up here. So we know all of that is working. So there's our basic layout. This is how we're going to start everything. We're going to have a lot of repetitive code. I'll go ahead and forewarn you about that. But uh, we'll come around. This is going to be a long, long video series. So in the next video, we'll come back. We'll get started on fleshing out our axes, X and Y. And then uh, add like a linear gradient background. And uh, yeah, take it from there.